So Mussolini said, fascism should be more properly called corporatism because it is the merger of a state and corporate power. I think we live in those times, but I just call it something different and that's freaking scary. <coughs> So hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, for some reason, odd reason, well actually not that odd, um, Jordan Peterson was trending again. So I'm like, what did you say this time? And from what I can see, all he said is, what's up Tim Cook? This whole free speed thing getting you down? Hashtag Elon Musk, I'm just like, huh? What the heck is happening? It seems that Apple has released a software update limiting the use of airdrop in China in light of recent protest. Airdrop was being used by protesters to transmit info directly phone to phone, bypassing the Great Firewall of China. Now, that is coming from the company that doesn't want free speech because we're not really at protest war or whatever, but a country that needs free speech, you are blocking them? That seems a little more hypocritical than I thought. I mean, you can have a TikTok account, make a bunch of money, and the moment you have one critical opinion, the next video you don't get any views. And so many people have been doing this stuff and it's weird. And it makes me believe that China has way more power than people would like to admit. You have no idea? Nobody is criticizing China. Do you want to see the power that China has? I mean, look at this hard hitting video. You have a mom with a baby with a high fever and all these people like, I'm sorry, you have to go to the camp. Uh, we're not going to the hospital. And the mom is crying. And I am a father. I got two kids. I've experienced this. If somebody told me the same, you have no idea how bad I would feel. This woman is crying like, if I stand up, I'm the enemy, you know? And now people are not allowed to communicate because they see this, they wanna prevent this. And now Apple, that's all about freedom and all this woke stuff sometimes, is going against this. I don't think they're really going against this. I think it's all about the money. Because you think, oh, it's happening in that country. It's their own country. But then the same country is controlling Apple when there's more freedom in other countries and they tell that country yeah you're the wrong one look at china <laughs> i don't know what the heck is happening bro i mean it's going crazy ben q apple has deliberately blocked access to the adro future in china on orders of the community port com 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 <laughs> communist party I'm making some mistakes. Thank you, MS. This makes it more difficult for Chinese descendants to communicate as they can no longer bypass the regiment notorious firewall. Is Apple an asset of communist China? It would not surprise me. They're building the iPhone anyway, and it seems even the people at the iPhone store were protesting. Look at this, man. Look at this. Spending the rest of your days there because they have a zero rule policy and they weld people inside? Come on, man. They lock you inside. Lock you inside your apartment. And guess what? Building caught on fire. Guess what happened to the people? They burn freaking alive. So even if it happened by accident or not, like some other people might be jumping out of the building, this is the new normal. These are the people that companies, big companies, kinda agrees with the way they think, they help them block their own people to keep the message clean and crisp. And, oh, well, I didn't mean crisp in a bad way, but as you can see, they did end up in that way. Um, it's messed up. Why would you want to advocate for a government or a style of thinking that somebody can do this to you? The radical fringe minority, it sounds like. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, that, that actually sounds like very like a 1989 Tiananmen massacre. Before that, um, the Communist Party said this is a fringe minority people. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing. Same and then, same then, then, then crackdown come, right? It's the same thing. 
So when we think Canada is a democratic country, it's Ooh. not. It's not Ooh. what Justin Trudeau has been doing. It's it's exactly what communism China was doing. So it's it's just a, a surprise. Cannot describe it. <laughs> I was we 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 were from China. We were in that system, so we knew something went wrong already. So here we are. Look, man, it's no joke. Imagine the police don't check your tickets if you have bought a ticket to travel. No, they want to scroll through your phone to see if you're a proper human being. Do you want to live in that country? Hell no! And here you got them again. They're just screaming, lift the lockdown. It doesn't stop. And these people silence you. And then they say, yeah, it's just a minority. It's not a minority. Usually it's never a minority, especially when it sprouts by word from word. You can't do that only by being a minority. It's the majority, but you silence them. I wonder how you would feel if you work for the government like that. You must believe you are on a moral high ground. It does not make any sense to me that you actually think, and you might feel even better because they can even identify your face. Maybe that's what gives them all the power. But Apple made a secret five-year deal, 27, 20, 275 billion, hey man, I can count, oops, deal with the CCP in 2016 in order to be allowed to continue to operate in China. They bought and sold. Look man, I didn't expect if I go through this <laughs> and I scroll and I would see all of this. But whenever I see that, it's not that I have an Asian hate. I'm just surprised more by the fact that the people that seems to be caring for you, they have an agenda with somebody that is not allowed to use the same tactic in your world because supposedly they would attack that person socially right but you're still defending them in their own country that's like you're giving money to my bully because we share hunger <laughs> but you know he beats me but you're like well everybody deserves to eat <laughs> you know it feels weird bro at that situation no feminist would stand up because that would get you beat up and you need toxic masculinity. Not that I'm like toxic, but if you put people together, this is one thing that, wait, wait, I can't even end the video. Look at what Jordan Peter posted. What did Mussolini call the fusion of state and corporate power? I did not know that. So Mussolini said, fascism should be more properly called corporatism because it is the merger of a state and corporate power. I think we live in those times, but I just call it something different and that's freaking scary. <laughs> yeah.